Hi ladies, this is Tammy coming at you. I've been absent, but I've been busy. Did a little shopping, but didn't do, didn't show the hauls. You know, because I kind of ordered it. Husband didn't know, so I had to hurry up and put it away. But what I'm coming to show you today is my Chunky Charm. It's a Valentine's Charm swap that I'm in at a little scrap of heaven. So let's get to it. My partner is Joe. Joe's in the in United Kingdom, so I have to send it soon. So, didn't really know how I was going to get this to work. So, I just kept playing with it, playing with it, playing with it. Watched a couple of videos to see on YouTube to see how to do it. And I have to say a shout out to my back neighbor Renee. Because Renee actually found the lady, and I'm sorry I don't remember your name, to showed me how to do this here little procedure right here. Let me get it close so you can see. You know, which is really cute because this is your class, and then you got a little flexibility in between there, which I thought turned out really, really cute. In there, she also showed me how to. Let me see if I can find it here. I know it's here seen it not too long ago how to do these right here I don't know if you can see that so let me get close see that there yeah, aren't they cute yeah wait a minute too much light there there we go yeah how to make those so I did that okay so let's get to it I think the requirements was um, your length had to be about three inches. You had to have uh, maybe two or three charms. I think I went overboard with the charms. You know. But it had to be a Valentine's theme. So I have this charm here, which is a heart. I have this, which this is a glass bead that I actually found in my stash. This is a Jesse James bead that I got at AC Moore. Um, I think this was a bracelet that I took apart. Not really sure. I know this here butterfly came from something that I took apart. You know, I just went through what I had and I put them on there. And I'll go through it fairly quickly to show you. You know, because I don't really, you know. I think it turned out good. It's not one of my strong points. You know, but I, I gave it my best shot. This here one was like a piece of bling I got from one of the girls to work with me. And then I had this here, which I got from Michael's, I want to say. So I took and stuck that on there. This here used to be an earring. It's kind of tangled up. Let me see if I can get it untangled so I can show you what it is. Uh, I know, this is a mess. I'm sorry about that, ladies. This here was an earring, this piece here, and it had the and it had the chain hanging down. So what I did was I went and I put the little baubles on the chain there, like that, and attached it. These were some charms that I got from Best Wishes, I think that was the name of the company, and it was a whole bunch of little charms in the bag. This here came from a bracelet. I took it off and I put it on there. This here is was on a bracelet. I took that off. This is actually styrofoam here, but it was glittered up, so I decided to go ahead and use that. I put this here on there for, you know, just a little whatever. This here was a glass bead I had. This was in my stash. This here is actually the end of the charm, you know, the dangle. Maybe I should have put something else, but I think that turned out really cute. I used the heart charm there because the theme is Valentine's. And I put this cameo on there. I actually got this here from Hobby Lobby. My closest Hobby Lobby is maybe 45 minutes to an hour away, so I don't get there often. But when I do, I try and pick up something really nice. This here, I don't really know where it came from. I found it in my stash, and I decided, hey, that would be cute. I'll go ahead and I'll put that on there. I think everybody should have an angel. So I went ahead and I made an angel. I got the angel's wings, I think, from Hobby Lobby too. This here was just in my stash, the butterfly. And I think that's pretty much everything that's on there. 
you know this here right here is a Martha Stewart um like lug you know I don't know, like a dango from Martha Stewart. So I went and added these here on to it. Then I just hooked it on there. So that's the charm bracelet. And now I want to show you the packing. And I really wish I could remember the lady's name. Because she did a really, really nice one. I think it was for her mother. For Christmas gift. And the big thing that I was really impressed with was her packing. And how she did it. Now, I'm going to remove this here. And I'll show you what the box used to look like. And see, she's... This here is something to hold the charm. This is what the box looked like before. I did put some decoration inside. And I had this paper and I just covered it all the way around. And I put this here so she'll be able to pull it open. And I took and inked the edges, which I don't know if you can really see well. But you can see it up here. And I inked them actually with a sh red sharpie which i think turned out pretty good you know and then i did this little cluster here let me see if i can get it in focus so you can see this here was a charm i got from big lot they had their stuff on clearance for 40 cents so i got that but it had a crochet edge around i took that off this is a uh, dang, uh, um, piece of bling I got from DK Crafts. This was a wheat spray that I actually picked up in AC Moore. And it was all white. And I used the red Sharpie to color it. Let me see if I can... There we go. Um, this was just in my stash. This is Wild Orchid Crafts here. This is also Wild Orchid Crafts. Wild Orchid Crafts. I don't know what this one is. This I got from AC Moore. This is Trico Flower. Wild Oak Crafts. And then this here is just a stick pin that I had I had done. And then there's a leaf back there. I think that came from Michaels. This is just a doily that I had gotten. Let me see here if I can. Yeah. This is a doily that I had gotten from the thrift store. And I just cut it up and put it on there. Let me see here if I have it here. I'll show you what it looks like. Yep, I did. This is how it came. Like this. But it was actually already messed up. So what I decided to do was just go ahead and cut a piece off. You know? To use it. Because I really like it. Yeah. And you know, you go to the thrift store, you gotta use what you can get there. You know? Okay, ladies, this is my charm that I have to get in the mail for Valentine's Day for my swap at over at a little scrap of heaven. Ladies, thank you for watching, and y'all have a blessed day, and keep on crafting. Talk to you later. Bye.